Okay, here I'm gonna start with the cable crossovers. Again, cable crossovers can be very tricky. They're cables. Most people just think you just grab them and just kind of yank them down and do them. It's not quite that easy. Again, if you want an effective result from the muscle and body part you're training, okay? First, I'm gonna show you how to work the upper pec, the middle, middle and upper pec, right here, straight across, okay? Wanna go in the middle here? He's not gonna get the angle. Yeah. Here we are, we're gonna do middle pec. Middle pec is very important. Now mind you, this is a uh, cable crossover, so you have no support on your back. You have no support, you can go back, you can like, stretch as much as you want. You know, it's freedom to do anything, but that is not the way you do the the workout, okay? This is the correct way. You have to envision yourself. This body part right here does not move. The only thing that's moving is your arms. That's it, your arms. You keep your torso nice and locked, chest out, and try to balance yourself with your feet, okay? Again, middle pack. One step forward, chest out, here you are. Don't wanna go back here, there's no point. It's right here, okay? And in. 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 It's like doing flat flies. Same simulation different workload because it's not free weight. Right here, make sure you squeeze. You gotta get that squeeze right at the bottom, okay? You don't wanna do this. You don't wanna do that. It's just, you know, you don't wanna pull your body back, you know? Steady exercise. You lock in, you lock in, you're ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. The only moving parts is your arms. It's the only thing that moves, okay? And of course your chest that you're flexing, all right? Now we're gonna go on and do the lower pecs. Lower pecs, sim slightly similar, again, but in this one you stand more upright, all right? So the lower pec is right down here. This is what we're gonna work, the roundness on your chest. This one, same thing. Your torso shouldn't be moving. Slight chest up. You don't have to go forward. Again, we work in lower pec. And this one is straight downward. So the position on this is gonna be down here. Okay, not here, because here's for the middle pec. It's down here. And you don't need to go any higher. That's it, right there. Notice, chest is out, squeezing at the bottom. Exhale at the positive. You don't wanna go any higher, you go here, it's your shoulders. Messing with your shoulders. You don't want to mess with your shoulders. Again, this is for chest. You do it the right way. It's a short movement. I know you feel like you can stretch more, you want to go higher, but you're taking away from the actual exercise and we're also trying to avoid long-term injuries. No long-term injuries, okay? Exercising is supposed to be the fountain of youth, so let's keep it young, okay? Again, lower pec, right here. Right here. This is great. Now, upper pec. Upper pec is fun. A lot of guys like doing it because they think it looks cool. 
but it's actually uh, very effective. And uh, it's a mean exercise. This one is more like you're scooping. You don't need to go that heavy. It's like you're scooping uh, underhand. The underhand scoop, okay? Right here, again, position yourself as if you were doing middle pecs. Sometimes, or some people have good balance, they could use both their feet, okay? Now on this one, again, this is the starting point, then the ending point, right there, right there. You don't want to go any lower, you go here, now you have to use your arms, you have to use your bicep. You don't want to have to always use your bicep. It is a secondary muscle, but it is for pecs short movement. 